Hello there, welcome back to my channel. It has been quite a while since I have um, done a video. So I pre-recorded, I think like the past three videos and then um, I had planned to come back like full force, ready for way more videos. But unfortunately, towards the end of the trip that I was on, so I was on vacation for about like three, two or three weeks, um, I got sick and I was okay, but I really couldn't do any voiceovers because I couldn't like stop coughing. Like when I actually had to upload a video on the Wednesday that I came back, I could not do like say a full sentence without coughing and I thought that it would be a little bit too irritating to just hear coughs every like three seconds or something like that. So. I ended up not doing um, or not uploading a video because I couldn't do a voiceover. I was contemplating though just doing the video and just having music um, playing by itself so no voiceover or anything but I really like voiceovers and I thought you know because I was gone for so long it'd be a good video just to talk about things that have happened and stuff like that. So. Yeah, but I'm back. I am 100% better, so I don't really get sick that often. Um, well, well, I don't. Well, first of all, I don't get sick that often, and when I do get sick, knock on wood, um, I'm not sick for that long either. Um, usually, I'm just like not feeling well a little bit, and then I'll, I'm okay. Um, wow, that sounds like something bad ready to happen, but um, yeah. So I wasn't super sick. I didn't have like a terrible flu or anything. I'm not sure what kind of sickness I had. I just had a really annoying cough. Um, it like or it hurt to cough and then I was just like coughing a lot. Um, yeah, towards the end of the trip it was I was getting a little bit weaker. Like I could tell my immune system just wasn't as um, high anymore. And then also when I was on the plane, there was a girl. So I sat in the aisle seat and then the girl across the aisle from me, she was coughing like nonstop. So there was like no escaping that, especially I think it was like an eight hour plane ride or something like that. So I just knew instantly that I was about to get sick. I was also with my mom too and she was actually sick during the end of the trip so being around her as well so I just wasn't feeling that well also so if you guys don't know I came back um, or actually went to like three different places so I went to England and a couple of towns in England um, well first of all I actually tweeted out that it was my cousin's graduation so that was the first thing that we had to do on the checklist um, so I had to attend my cousin's graduation which was in Exeter um, and yeah so we just flew into Heathrow, we drove to Exeter, um, and then we spent a couple of days here and there. Uh, we did like a weekend road trip, um, so we stayed overnight at like this kind of like converted manor style. It seemed nice in the picture, but I don't think I will ever go back there. Because um, the thing about houses in England, um, or just like buildings in England, they do not have AC, which is very unheard of. Um, you know, around me, every single building has AC. Every single time you go into a building, it's like nicely, like nice airflow. It's you know moderate temperature. But if you guys ha haven't like been keeping up with, I guess weather news, um, it's been extremely hot in Europe, all over Europe. Um, it's maybe not record high but it's really it was at least um, I'm not sure about now but it was really warm in England the warmest warmest that it's like been in a really long time their summers are usually not like that at all they they had, had sorry they had like a drought that was like lasting forever and um, like a lot of the grass is really brown and stuff like that so we were there and um, I remember I got put into a hotel room that was on the attic, like in the attic, so the top floor, and it was so hot. It took me a full, I want to say about like two hours to fall asleep just because I was so warm the entire night. I just could not fall asleep. There's no AC. Even when I opened the window, like no air came in. I had a little fan in my room and that did nothing. It was it was pretty bad um yeah i kind of wanted to tell like the hotel that it's really not that great like 
I mean, but they're not going to say anything about it because this is very abnormal weather for them. They don't really get, you know, their temperature doesn't really get that hot or anything. So um, I just kind of had to deal with it. Luckily, we were only there for one night, um, but two days. And yeah, so then we went back to London. We spent one day there and then we flew to Florence and then spent a couple of days in Florence and in Italy, it was so hot massively hot and then we after Florence we spent a couple of days in or we spent more days in Venice so we went to Venice and like towards like maybe the last two or three days um it was excruciatingly hot um like during the entire time we were in uh Italy it was maybe like 95 degrees um Fahrenheit that is and then just towards the end of the trip it was so hot it got up to like a hundred I think it was like 37 degrees Celsius um and it was just awful <laughs> it was so bad my mom was like I don't think I want to visit Europe in the summertime ever again maybe I'll go in like spring or winter or something like that but not 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 summer and also, it's just extremely tourist filled. Um, both Florence and, and Venice, they just have so many tourists. It's almost like a little bit annoying. Yeah, I mean, we're tourists and stuff like that, but there's just too many people. Too many kids are off of school, and it's just, it's not, you know, the best time to go. So maybe go in like off season or something like that. But nevertheless, besides the weather and all that kind of stuff, it was really nice. Um, because of the weather though, we were able to just hop into like stores over and over again to steal their AC. So a lot of times we had no interest in actually shopping, but we would just go into the store just so we could like, you know, cool off a little bit. Um, and you best believe we had all the gelato we could. Yeah, the gelato I gotta say is pretty good. Um, it's really smooth. It's it melts really quickly though. Um, this was also the first time I've been to Italy in a while. I think when it, maybe when I was like nine years old was like the first time we went to Italy or something like that. Um, but my family actually lost a lot of our pictures, so we hadn't had any. Well, I couldn't recollect like anything we did. I could only recollect like one day out of the entire trip that we had but it was good going back to Italy and um, it was really it was really nice um, you can get like really cheap things there maybe not cheap is not the right word but for comparatively if you um, look at mm, maybe like a similar item in America versus in Italy it's like two times more in America. They had tons of shops that were like nine euro like clothing um, and in, in the United States it'd be like $15 or something like that. Um, and also like you can get a lot of Italian leather for super, not cheap, but like very, like a lot less than you would get in America because you know if it's real leather they're definitely gonna hype up the price but there you know they have a lot of leather stores um, I ended up getting I think I got a pair of shoes um, that are super cool they're super cool I really like them they're like a cloth sneaker kind of style which is really cool and they have a little bit of a not a heel but they have a platform and it's like about one inch or something um, they're so cool. I love wearing them. I've worn them so many times already. The only thing though is that they're cloth, so they're not, maybe not that sustainable. I don't know how long they'll last, but we'll see. Hopefully if I keep them clean and nice. Um, yeah, and I got a bag that like in America, I would think that it would be like, you know, above $70, but I got it for... I think like 35 euros which is pretty good um, they have a lot of those kind of stores it's super nice um, but yeah so definitely recommend um, maybe not go in the summertime or anything like that um, and yeah so after we went from Venice um, we just went back to England and just kind of hung out a little bit so my sister actually lives in England um, she lives in London and she is looking to buy a house. Um, I'm not sure if, you know, 
she really wants to buy it soon or something like that. She's a little bit busy at this point. But this is why we are doing this home. So let's finally talk about the home. Um, that was just sort of like an update about what happened these past three weeks um, or four, I should say now. I also missed an upload um, like yesterday or something like that, or I'm not sure when I'm going to release this video, but I missed the upload um, last Wednesday because I forgot to do a voiceover. Um, and I've just, just just been trying to adapt back into my regular life. Um, but yeah, so this build, uh, because I was looking at so many homes and we got tours of a lot of homes, um, I was just kind of inspired to do a typical, I guess, row house. They have these like kind of houses all over um, London that are just basically like really skinny and narrow, but really um, deep houses. Um, the ones that we were looking at were like two bedrooms, so that's why all this layout is kind of like this. And it's very inspired by the layouts that we saw in the homes. So a lot of them you can go through like the common entrance and then there's a stairs in front. And then um, they have like maybe two or three um, sort of flats in each house. But um, I think some of them have like two, but this one is, um, I've done three different apartments. So I've only furnished two of them and they're both the ground floor flat. Um, I don't think when we visited any of the homes, we ever went into the middle floor. Um, we saw the top floor and then the bottom floor because my sister wanted some like outdoor space and the top and the bottom sometimes have outdoor space. Uh, the top floor um, sometimes has like a like a patio deck thing area on the top um and yeah so this is basically not a carbon copy but a very similar copy to what um the layouts that i saw so i'm not sure what the typical layout is but a lot of people do um renovations to sort of finagle a lot of the rooms in different locations so this one that i'm furnishing now this one is the first one or the one on the right the ground flat on the right and this one is inspired by house i saw um so what they did is they actually turned one of the bedrooms into a kitchen so the kitchen and then the living room would be attached um because a lot of times when you i looked at the um house plans of the houses that we were looking at or the flats that we were looking at um they have like the kitchen all the way in the back and then they have like the living room all the way in the front and my sister didn't really like it I mean I didn't like it either it kind of seemed weird how like the living areas were both on like opposite sides of the house so this is kind of like a common renovation that I guess a lot of people do is that they try to make the kitchen and the living room a little bit closer together so that's what I did here. It basically just kind of looks like there is, um, or it was a bedroom and then they decided to knock the wall down so as to like open up the kitchen into um, the living room. Um, unfortunately, something that I didn't notice when I was furnishing this, um, there's no place to really eat. Um, there's no like dining table or anything. I completely forgot about this because like I said, I'm kind of modeling it after some of the houses that I, we went and saw. And one of the houses was really similar to this. Um, they had the kitchen kind of like in a U shape and then they have the li living room here. Um, but then there was no dining like table or anything. So yeah, that's kind of like why I forgot. But um, because we're furnishing two of the apartments, the one on the left side, the left apartment, that one does have a eating nook. Although that one looks really, that one doesn't really look like any of the um, kind of flats we saw. Because here's the thing about The Sims. A lot of times they don't get the proportions right, like in real life. Um, a lot of times if you try to build um, real life buildings in The Sims, the proportions are all com like not completely right. Um, this I think is a little bit too wide, but just because, you know, one tile wide is really actually wide you can't get like small like half tiles or anything like that as far as walls go so this is i would say a little bit wider than how the ones that we saw were but uh yeah we may do i'm not also sure if it's that deep either because it seemed like we had way more space than um the places that we saw 
Um, yeah, it seemed like there was a ton of space. I was able to get like lots of study, um, study areas in a lot of like storage space. And if you like live in the London area, then you know you'll know that you don't get so much space. Um, a lot of London is kind of compact, even though they don't build like super high big skyscrapers or anything. I mean, you can live in skyscrapers, but um, a lot of their homes are just kind of small and kind of maybe a little bit cramped. But cramped is not like the right word. Maybe you should just say cozy or something like that. Um, and yeah, so even this living room is just massive. It, I I don't think they're this large. Like you can have a couch, um, like a big couch, and then a, like an armchair and stuff. But I don't think you would have like room for this like council table at the back or anything like that. Um, a lot of the rooms are much skinnier, um, and yeah, so. Um, but this one, I I would say I think is like the smaller one. It's smaller by like one tile, but for some reason it makes a huge difference because I think the bedrooms are like much bigger, maybe not much bigger, but they're a decent size bigger. Um, also, so a common thing with a lot of these row houses is that um, people do extensions. So um, we'll get into it later when we go into the bedroom section, but um, uh, some of the homes do extensions and then some of them haven't done extensions yet. So a lot of times um, you kind of want to make your space a little bit bigger, so you'll do an extension. But um, the, every single bedroom needs to have an external sort of window or something like that or external sort of way of getting out. Um, just basically any sort of uh, place that sunlight can come in. So there's like a restriction to the amount of um, I guess extensions that you can do. So you'll notice that there's like a common shape of these houses or that they're like an L shape so the second bedroom can have an external window. Um, hopefully that makes sense. I'm not actually sure, um, but you'll see that in the second bedrooms I put like a window to the outside and a door to the outside. Also, something about this. So because I'm only doing two of these houses, um, it's like two houses stuck together. Um, if you actually go on a street in London, they're like all like right next to each other, like wall to wall. Um, and yeah, so a lot of times there's no windows on the side of the homes. So that's why in these ones you'll see that I don't have any side windows. Um, by that I mean like windows on the right and the left side, not the front and the back. Um, and yeah, so here's the door to the external kind of living area, um, but you'll see that later. Um, so just imagine that there's a like a carbon copy house, like pair of houses right next to this. So... That's why there's no windows on the side parts, but then there are access points to the back side. So, yeah, I guess you just kind of have to know how their houses work. Um, and yeah, but with that said, even though they, even though the houses are right next to each other, with houses that are on the corner, like that don't have anything on the other side, they still don't put windows, which is something that is really like mind-boggling I'm not sure why and it seemed like a crazy question so um, you know my sister and I are both from Chicago Illinois you know we in America I guess like a lot of windows and a lot of light um, and because my sister is looking to buy a house in London um, she kept asking because uh, she was looking at one of them and they it was a corner property she was asking why they don't put windows especially for the corner properties, like, on the side. Um, and, like, the real estate agent was, I mean, he understood the question, but you could just tell that he kind of was, like, completely taken aback. He just didn't really understand. Not that he didn't understand. It's just that, I don't know. Is it just not a thing that people think of? It's, it's just, it doesn't comprehend. It's just, you know, why would you put a window on the side? That was kind of, like, the feeling I got. And it was just... It was so weird because, you know, for me and my family, we would just like put windows here, put windows there. We want light, we want bright and airy. And, you know, that's just not not a thing. It was just so weird. Um, yeah. <laughs> and 
yeah, so that was the uh, second bedroom that we just finished furnishing. And that one is a huge bedroom. I think that, like, yeah, like I said, the whole perspective of scale on this build is kind of off a little bit. A lot of the rooms are a lot smaller. Um, that bedroom is way bigger than uh, the bedrooms uh, in real life. So there's that. Also, this bathroom, way, way bigger. Um, they would it would be probably like three by two tiles but because we had so much space in this home I had so much room um, so this is just kind of like I guess a glorified version of a row house it's not really to scale it's not really um, you know how it's like in real life um, but just a little bit just a little bit of a better alternative um, and yeah so this is the home where the bedrooms are off to the back side. Now the other apartment, the houses are in the front of the home and then the living spaces are in the back. So it's all about kind of like whatever one you want to use or something like that. Um, also, so this house I think is already up on the gallery and it is two full houses. Um, I've done the two ground floor flats, but you can, if you want, I mean you can move your sim into this one of the apartments or you can use two of them if maybe you have like two families or something like that um but if you want if you're really into interior design or just really you know don't like the style that i did um you know the second the middle floor and then the top floor ones are open so you can do whatever you want with that um i really didn't want to furnish you know the same kind of apartment style over and over again so I left four of the flats um, just kind of open to whatever you want um, I also wasn't really sure how to furnish or how to do the top floor because as of right now um, my sister actually lives in an apartment that's on the or a top floor flat and it has a really interesting shape because a lot of times they take up like a third the third floor but then it also has like the attic portion and if you know anything about the sims it's like kind of hard to do like an attic room so that would be a little bit hard to do so we just didn't do that um and yeah so just basically for the sims it's like a total this lot has a total of like six apartments i guess that you can live in um but we can't really, that you know, that's not really how um, the city living worked, so you don't really get apartments. I think in like The Sims 3 or something, you could actually build apartments, which is so cool. Now you actually have to just go into a pre-made building, or you can go into that like top penthouse floor and then just get a piece of like concrete. Um, but you can't really build like your own apartment, which is something that I like just, you know, super you know wished for but it's okay also so what is happening with the sims at this point i keep on going on twitter trying to check any updates and stuff um just seeing like if there's anything coming out because um they stopped doing quarterly trailers and stopped announcing like any upcoming packs or something and it's been a while since the seasons came out actually maybe not you know a huge a long period of time but you know, typically it, they would announce like another sort of pack or something, uh, maybe like a stuff pack or um, a game pack or anything like that. But it's been pretty like hush hush mute mute so far, and I'm just not sure. I mean, I'm really interested in what packs are to come, and I understand why they don't want to like talk about any packs or something like that. But you just can't help the feeling of desire of wanting like an another pack um, also speaking of seasons um, I still haven't got it as you can tell um, I don't I'm not using any like seasonal items um, or anything like that but as I checked online just like right before I'm doing this voiceover because I was doing screenshots and it's on sale for like 25% off I think I could get a better deal of it 50% off if I wait a little bit longer but I also think that when I went on online, uh, the get to work pack was 50% off. So I think I'm actually going to get that one because that is, I think, like one of the better deals. I've seen like a really awesome deal where I was like 65, but they it hasn't been 65% off in a while. So I'm not really sure. Maybe I should just bite the bullet and just get it now. Um, by that, I mean get to work. I'm probably not going to get seasons yet uh, until it's, you know, above 
40% off, then I'll get it. Um, that's the thing, you know, you have to just wait for it if you want a good deal. Or you can, you know, you know, if you have money to spare, you can just get it in the moment. Um, so there's that. Also, there's a huge, like, what is it, glitchy bug. Maybe not a bug. I... I don't know, I think they should be working on it because people have talked about it, but the screenshot function has been having some problems, so a lot of them are really blurry. Um, so what I've done, I've still included screenshots, but what I've done instead is I've taken a screenshot um, basically from my computer instead of like the in-game screenshots. So if there is a discrepancy between I guess the image quality um, of my previous build and this build, that's the reason why it's just a different method of capturing the screenshot. But hopefully it should be okay. Hopefully it definitely should be better than, you know, the current blurry screenshots that the game has. I did test it and they are truly blurry. <laughs> they are pretty, pretty bad. Um, but yeah, so I think you know, it will suffice so far until we get some sort of update maybe that has a better screenshot function. Um, and yeah, so this is the second apartment and uh, you'll kind of notice there's a little bit of a weird layout in this. Maybe not weird initially, but you'll see in the back um, there's like two rooms that are dark and have no lights. So I intended them to be both closets, so I was going to use, I mean I did already use, the smaller in in room closet I guess for the second bedroom and then I was actually going to use the 2x2 two two tile um, in room wardrobe for the master bedroom but I just completely forgot about that room and I ended up furnishing it as if that room didn't exist so the final product has a 2x2 two two tile room that is essentially nothing it just has no functionality uh, completely forgot I ended up finishing the entire house and then realizing that I completely forgot about that room and then I just wasn't really bothered to redo the layout of the master bedroom because I actually really liked the layout of the master bedroom and a mass and the master bedroom actually does have a wardrobe so it still has um, you know the typical things that your sim um, would need or want um, so yeah it still works but it's just a weird idea that there's a room that has no purpose at all besides just being there <laughs> um, and just being some sort of filler space um, right behind the bathroom and yeah this is one of my favorite rooms um, I really like this room it's not my favorite that I've ever done but for this build I think it's my favorite room mostly because my favorite color is blue and this strong like color scheme in this room is obviously blue. Um, that rug actually has a blue swatch, but I thought that was a little bit overwhelming, so I ended up just choosing kind of a more muted, like greenish, beige-ish color. And I'm not really sure what I was doing here. I just kind of wanted to put something on the walls, but I already had paintings, and I didn't really want to overload this room with so many paintings, so I just put a couple of plants on the wall and I thought that that was okay um and yeah so this is a bathroom this is I I don't know I just can't get over the fact that this is way bigger than it would be in real life um you know bathrooms do not come in this size at least if you're you know maybe you're not like a millionaire or something obviously if you're a millionaire you would have money to spend on like some really cool properties um and have hugely amazing large bathrooms but this one's just kind of like a more modest home um and yeah so another thing that, that we will address is the length of this video so yes it is a whopping 39 minutes almost going at 40 minutes um i just well first of all i hadn't done a video in a quite a long time um especially for me because i was on vacation um and then i just didn't do any videos when i came back um for you if you've been on my channel for quite a while maybe not because i did pre-record of some of the videos but i just kind of wanted to do this as a way of coming back on the channel um also because i knew i had a lot of stuff to talk about um, so I decided to make it extra long and also this is technically like a two-in-one home because it's kind of like two homes stuck together so you know it's pretty pretty obvious that it would be way longer 
and yeah. So this is the living room of the second apartment or the one on the left side of the building. Um, and it was a little bit tricky trying to furnish this, furnish, whoa, furnish this. I just like had a weird moment. Um, cause basically this layout was just so weird. Maybe that wasn't like the best choice to put the kitchen there, but I really liked how the kitchen had a window, you know, that could see outside. And I really wanted the sink to be in front of the window. Um, cause I always feel like that's nice. You know, you can wash up your dishes um, right in front of a window um, and yeah so this kitchen actually ends up turning out really odd and there's like huge empty space that I didn't really know what to do um, you'll see it's like behind the kitchen area and they just put a bookshelf and like a computer desk there or something like that and so yeah this kitchen like I said kind of weird because it's like a U shape or eventually it'll get into a U shape and then there's um, like part of the kitchen on the other side of the wall that has a refrigerator. I eventually put a microwave there and yeah so it's kind of like a really long kitchen that's kind of separated by this hallway area and then um, this one actually does have a dining table so you can actually sit down um, and it actually has a pretty pretty large dining table too. I think I put like six chairs there so Actually, six people cannot live in this apartment. Um, I think maximum only like four because um, there's two bedrooms and then both of them have a double bed. But, you know, if you're having guests over or something like that. Um, and I did extend the apartment um, one tile wider or one tile longer than the right um, apartment just because I didn't have enough room for the living room because I really wanted to put the fireplace in, but it was just a really tiny space. Um, so I just extended it a little bit more. And you'll see what I mean by extension. So, or maybe you've already seen it. So this one is a little bit wider. So instead of the, if you saw on the right apartment, the second bedroom could completely walk out to the back um, patio area. So it was connected with the back patio. This one, um, the bedroom has a kind of like light chamber, essentially. Um, there's no exterior access, but I mean, technically, you can just climb through the window if you really wanted to get out. But, um, yeah, so it's just kind of like a light chamber as a way to get light into the bedroom or some natural light into the bedroom. But um, how you actually get out to the back patio is that you have to go through the both double doors um, in the living room and the dining room. So that's kind of like the common extensions that people do. A lot of people just push back the... Um, sort of back room and that was something that I noticed a lot um, something that a lot of people did when we were looking at houses and yeah but like I keep saying completely off of scale none of the places that we saw were this big um, they're much smaller um, much more compact but you know that doesn't happen in the sims and also sims get a little bit fussy I mean Sometimes they, they just wave their hands around, they can't get anywhere, things are in their way, so you always need a little bit of a bigger space for them to move around. Um, and with that said, I also don't think I actually tested this place yet, so that's my bad. Um, so, you know, hopefully there's nothing that's glitching out, hopefully your sim can get everywhere and do everything that they need to do. Um, but you're probably going to have to download it and test it out or something like that to see if all the items work. Um, and yeah, uh, so we are getting towards the end. We still have to furnish the outdoor area and then also that little hallway section. Oh, speaking of things that might not work, so that light um, that you see on the right side right now, the, like, the hanging light, the one that has like two planks of wood with like, it kind of looks like candles, you know, all around the, all on the wood. Um, that one, when I was doing the screenshots, I didn't include it because I had too many screenshots, but when I actually went into camera mode and saw all of that, saw all of, all of the screenshots, that light fixture hangs extremely low. So I'm not actually sure if your sim can walk past it. So if you download it, you might have to remove it. I'm not sure. Like I said, I didn't test it. So, oh, well, this is the light fixture. It's really low. Um... It goes, I think, lower than the door. I'm not sure. Is it meant to be for like a taller wall height? 
you know how in the you can see right now on the bottom they have like the three different door heights or well not anymore but um it depending on the wall that you choose they have the doors um so you know which door can fit like um on your wall height I feel like they should do that same thing for lights because there are two, at least two lights that I know of that hang pretty low. Actually, way more than that. A lot of their lights actually hang pretty low. One of my past builds, I actually put one of the lights in and my sim could not get around um, because the light was too low. Because um, what I did was I ended up sizing it down. So it visually looks like, you know, your sim can move around, but because, you know, you're cheating, I guess, the programming your sim can, can't actually like navigate around so I feel like they should kind of do that with the light fixtures that, um, just based to, basically based on your wall height they should have like the appropriate lights that you can use. I mean that's not like one of the big things that I'm hoping for or anything but it's just a thought you know you can never have too many um, thoughts and improvements um, for games I mean, you know, game developers just want to make a game that people like and, you know, always open up to, to suggestions, I say. Um, you know, you can never stop improving. So, <laughs> there's that. Anyways, so with the extension, that also means the back patio ends up being smaller. So, the apartment on the right, even though the home is smaller, they definitely have much larger um, outdoor access. And the second bedroom can go out to the can go out to the um, like back patio, I guess you can say. Um, but with this one, the one on the left, um, definitely a smaller patio, um, but there still is like a lot of room. They have a grill, um, a table, and then a like little sit sitting area, I guess. The only thing though is I'm not actually sure if your Sims can get um, to every single chair. They might have to walk through the other door. And also, something that's a little bit odd about this home. So with the back patio, with the apartment on the right, well, now since we're flipped this way, it would be the apartment on the left. But to get actually to the back patio, you have to walk through both of the bedrooms, which is 100% like weird. Um, you know, you kind of, if you're having a party and you want to, you know, have an outdoor party or something like that, you don't really want people going through your bedrooms, but... That's just something that happened with this build and also something that I've noticed too with some of the homes that we went and saw was that they had, you had to go through like the bedrooms to actually get to the outdoor section. So I guess that's why some people decide to push the bedroom towards the front of the home and then the living room towards the back. So if you do have an outdoor access, you could just go through the living main space. Um, but yeah, so these are screenshots. Wow, I can't believe I've been talking for so long, but you know, it's good because we haven't ran out of things to say, which is actually pretty good. I think in like, I previously did a 40 minute video. That was like my second video or something that I've ever done. And that one, I was running out of things to say, but this one, this one's good. Um, also, so I have it on like half quality when I'm recording it or not recording it when I'm previewing it right now. So hopefully I can't really see it that well but hopefully at full quality it, this, these screenshots are actually pretty good and not just utter crap um so yeah hopefully they're good um i did happen to um cut some of the screenshots though because i just had way too many this i mean technically this is like two apartments in one so i have to you know uh, pick and choose some of the screenshots. Um, I really like this bedroom, so I added in a couple of screenshots. Um, I felt it was very serene and calm, which is something that I don't do often. I like a lot of like bold, contrasting colors a lot of times. This is another one of my favorite bedrooms. Nice, calming blue. This whole apartment is just very blue and calming. Um, I feel like a lot of it's just very serene. It's very calming. It's a nice, just cozy place to be in. Um, and yeah, so we just have the outdoor section, the back um, of the, I guess, what is it, these row houses. Um, but I think that's really it. So just one last screenshot and yeah. So I think I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully it will be up on Wednesday. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.